Hi everyone, I'm Raditya Varmasita from Group B. Hi, I'm Tasha from Bandung. Hi, Alice from Surabaya. Hi, I'm Hai from Vietnam. And we are Group B. So this is our vlog. So yeah, we will give you information about our trip to Chiranda and also our trip to Depok and lastly to Johor Bahru. Eh, oh, Johor Bahru. Johor Bahru. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. This this gonna make the vlog really attractive, okay? And as you can see, we're approaching the cassava garden in which we would like to see how the cassava are planted. And these cassava plants and cassava garden are really hard to reach. We have to climb so many stairs and cross through a very hard terrain. It's actually, uh, you know, the implementation of Manchester, right? Where everybody thought that. As you can see in the subtitle, we're approaching a local school, in which this local school is an elementary school. The school is even equipped with a library that are donated by Korea. The school is even very complete. Happy days are here again. Hmm, he played so many games. Oh, he fell down. Oh. Wow. Oh, he ended up fell down anyway. Hmm. These are the smiles of the children. The children. They usually play this game on the on the city hall, or we call it the ballet. And this ballet is a, is a place where they usually play their games and having fun. Hmm. So fun. Here's the cassava garden. Mm, so many cassavas are ready to be consumed by the locals. It's so green, it's indeed high, so you can see the whole village up there. And then we present to you the welcoming ceremony. Wow, it looks so simple, but it's really easy and very memorable. Chirinda trip starts with planting trees. I love how they actually perform a ritual to call their ancestors and call their spirits to bless their plants. I just love how they perform a traditional ritual with a mixture of modern ones. Hmm, so great and indeed having some high cultural values. I love Indonesia so much and this is why I love my country. not only performed during the planting, but also performed during harvesting ceremony. This is the harvesting ceremony, where they perform to call all the spirits to bless their harvest. Yay, we finally managed to plant the trees. After a long journey from Bali to the Hilda, it's indeed a workout because you have to climb the stairs and climb by yourself and also have some trekking. Yay, it's indeed fun.
semua. Wow, look at those bunch of rasis out there. Hmm. These rasis are only consumed by the people of Chiranda because they cannot even consume rice since 1918. And, surprisingly, these rasis are actually really good, way better than white rice. And also they brought us to the place where they process the singkong into so many products like pasta and noodles. Mm, it's a bit delicious. Yeah, you can taste it once. Are the stuff on how to make an apples. Mm, you are already trying hard to make these apples every single day. It's available in the village and it's available in 12 flavors. I even, I even tried it once. So Kangong is trying to explain how these egg rolls are made. Wow, great time to have some jokes, Kangong. Yeah, we missed you. And the last one to close the whole trip, Kang Wing was trying to explain how to turn these flowers and these sengkongs to become an amok rice. And that sums up the whole Jirinda trip. Now let's move on to Jakarta, where we have a lot of homeworks to do. Actually, this is Johar Bahru district, which is the most densely populated district in Asia. And it has 56,000 people living in the one area like it's only three times three meters square for each house so so this is in 2018 we're in Johar Baru to have some kind of social project which is first to paint all the bridges and here we are actually trying uh, to you know to clean our hands after painting and you can see we just repainted the bridge and yeah, many people actually benefit from it. So that looks great actually. And there's Nur Hayati painting hearts on the bridge. And it looks pretty, super pretty. And it does add some details to the bridge. So yeah, Malaysia is lucky to have her as a great artist. I know it's lame, just don't blame me. In the end, we would just like to say, let's be more grateful and thankful for everything in any kind of circumstances. Because our harsh challenges are not as harsh as they face every day. We can live in a world that we they deserve our attention. They deserve our advocacy. Let's raise their voice. And because they deserve everybody's attention, they need help. They deserve second chance. And they deserve all the rights that every Indonesian should have. They are also Indonesians. 
and let's give them another chance to try everything and to start over. For them, it's never too late to learn and never too late to change. So, let's change for the better, and let's change for good. If they can change for good, why can't we? So, let's transform our lives for the good. Thank you. For them, it's never too late to learn and never too late to change. Let's change for the good and let's change for the better. If they can change for good, why can't we? So.
Let's transform our lives for good. Thank you.